here we go guys I'm gonna show you guys how you use reprice it this is your basic front screen on reprice it if you go to dashboard home this is your dashboard home okay I don't really use two templates I actually only use the global one the first one and I'm just gonna show you my settings and you can copy them whatever you want to do okay you want to hit view edit repricing settings okay my first you know basically this is the way I have it okay guys here let me uh let me make my screen a little bigger for you guys. I'm on my iMac here. Let me, uh, that way you can see it. Okay, there we go, guys. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, you want to compare new items, okay? Uh, also, you want to click that one there, used items. Um, I exclude acceptable offers. I don't compete against anybody that's acceptable, so you want to click that. I don't, I don't compete with anybody that's brand new, so I click that. Uh, I don't want to compete with anybody basically below 95% on their feedback. Um, this is a biggie here, right here. Minimum allowable price. This is my lowest price I'll sell something for. I've, I, I used to do $4.95. I've kind of bumped it up to $5.95 now. You can change this anywhere on your template settings. You can go back down to $4.95. You can go to uh, $5.15. You know, whatever you want to do, guys. You can change it up manually this way. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I was running 595. I'll bump it down today to 525. Okay, you want to make sure and click this right here, right here. Basically, minimum allowable price. Now, if you say you know, another offer comes up, and you say somebody has a book or a CD that's priced at 399, and you don't click this button right here. If you don't click this, this is not going to go into effect. So the year, if you click it and you hit reprice it. Your offer is going to go down to three ninety nine because you don't have this clicked. Okay, so you got to make sure and click that there. So basically, when it reprices, basically what you want to do is that it's going to make your lowest offer. It will not sell any item that you have listed with FBA for less than five twenty five. Okay, it will not. So it, you, when you go to your manage inventory and look at your things, you'll see a lot of listings where your lowest competing offer is five twenty five. Okay. Maximum allowable. I, this is the factory setting 100. I just leave it at 100. I don't click this part because I just leave it, leave it, leave it at that. Maximum competing offers to compare against. Uh, you can go up to 10. I know I saw. I watched a video with Manny. He he did he did an ebook on it. He mumped it at the 10. I keep mine about six. Okay, um, that's the factory setting. Uh, it's gonna take the lowest six. You know, so basically you can read this here. Uh, Set this value to five, then it will compete against the lowest five competing offers. Um, when using, you know, when using the intelligent pricing, it does it differently. But the default is six. I mean, you can move it. Like I said, you can move it to compete against the lowest four. You can do it to compete against the lowest eight. I usually uh, doesn't really matter to me because I usually like to be the lowest offer. So I basically, or one of the lowest offers, so I just leave that at six. Factory setting is six. This is the factory setting, new prices at one, used prices at one. Um, if you want to compete, I mean, if you want to reprice all the time, move it to zero and zero, and it'll reprice automatically. You can see it right here. Basically, it'll say if there are less than three offers in the given item, if you choose three, if there's not three offers, then it's not going to reprice. But if you put zero, it's going to reprice automatically every time. Okay, so usually I just... Keep everything simple. Keep them all at the factory setting six one and one. Uh, I don't do a default price or anything because I don't want my prices to go drop down. You can read all this if you click on this. You can read all this basically. I mean, most people I know just copy my template um, and they change it up to here. That will go down. You can move that to you know ninety or I, I keep it pretty much the same every time. So uh, I don't even check. I don't mess with these at all. Price percentages. I know some people do. Uh, to give you know uh, low ball offers uh, I really don't if you have this set here you really don't have to worry about the low ball offers personally in my opinion so uh, repricing modes this is probably the biggest biggest one okay I used to use their intelligent repricing but I ended up selling a lot of stuff at low ball prices uh, and then the buy box sometimes if you want to do buy box it's unrealistic because you'll have a uh, you'll have like four or five different you know, offers that uh, say a CD or a book is at eight ninety five. You know, a bunch of different FBA, and you have a Amazon at the buy box at twenty three ninety five. Well, it's going to move your price. To, if you have this clicked, it's going to move your price to twenty three ninety five. So I usually click this here and leave it always at this. This will basically competes against the same condition or better. 
this is for used and new, okay? And you can read it here, you know, it will price against very good items in very good or new condition. Uh, low ball offers will not be excluded. It's the same principle. All you got to do is make sure if you don't want to sell anything in a low ball offer, just make sure your minimum allowable price is high enough, okay? Uh, let's see. Sales rank, I don't mess with this one. I don't mess with this one. Uh, I don't, um, and I don't, you know, price against Amazon, and I always make sure and click that. I never want to be higher than Amazon, okay? And you can change this percentage. I used to do a, 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 a 1%. I've gone to like two. I know some people go all the way to eight or ten percent higher, low, higher, lower than Amazon. I think it's kind of silly. I mean, um, you know, a lot of people just care about the FBA and they care about the lowest FBA price. So I mean, if Amazon's at you know ten bucks and I come in at two percent less, you know, I'm coming in at you know nine, nine fifty or seventy or eighty or something. So you know, I just this is my personal opinion, guys. I'll just leave it like at two percent. But like right now, I'll. Just for a demo, I'll move it to 1.5, okay? Um, now, this is if I'm competing against other people. Say I have, uh, I always leave, always leave this at 6% or 6 cents. So basically, if I'm, you know, somebody else has got an FBA offer at $10 on a CD, my repriser is going to come in at $9.94. Uh, it's going to always be a little couple of cents lower. And you can basically read the description. That's all you got to do. For example, if you want to undercut the target offer by five cents and you just put five cents in the field, and if you want to match it, put zero, zero, zero. Uh, a lot of times, though, this will set off a repricer, you know, if you undercut. A lot of times you can also, if you want to go a little higher, um, you can do like this, put a negative in front of it, and it's actually going to price your product six cents higher, okay? If you do a negative, like say they're at $10, you're going to come in at $10.06. You probably won't set off the repricer, but you probably will lose some sales due to that too, okay? So I usually just keep it as, you know, I can come down and I can put it at, at a 0.04. And I'd be, I mean, I'm going to price four cents lower than the other person. This is my personal preferences, guy. This is just what I do. You do not have to listen to me, guys, okay? You know, this is just what I use day in and day out, okay? Uh, following settings apply to FBA items. I, You know, if I have FBA... And I want to go and compete against FBA, I'll choose this one, okay? I have another template I can use that I run also. I'll show you that one too. But this is, when I'm running just FBA against FBA, I'll run this one, okay? Click only against FBA offers. This is the one I want to do. Default setting is this merchant fulfilled thing. It automatically default sets. I mean, it's checked. I mean, and you want to make sure and, and click your uploads, okay? If you don't have this un checked, it'll. Uh, You'll be able to see, like, if you want to test your pricing, you know, you can test your pricing, but your your offers will not be uploaded to Amazon unless this is checked here. Okay, so hit that, hit save settings. Okay, now I'm going to show you my other template that I use when I uh, are going against uh, merchant and no FBA. Okay, it's called my FBA merchant one. Okay, same thing here, there. Uh, I just set this up yesterday, so uh, except a little. You know, it's just been pretty much the same thing on merchant orders. I've gone down to 495. Same thing, click here, same thing. This here, maximum number of competing offers to compete against. I've done that. Actually, I'll uh, I'll move this to eight today. I want to reprice all the time, so basically I'll go zero zero on merchant. Uh there, okay. Same thing here. I want it can be the be the lowest price or same condition or better, okay. Uh, let's see, same thing with Amazon, 2%, 6% here. The only difference is I'm clicking here. I want to compare my items against both FBA and non-FBA offers, okay? That's why you don't want to really kill yourself and go really low, okay? Uh, but that's, you know, and just hit save. So that's basically the only difference I do between the two is I click this one here against the other one, okay? Uh, that's the only two differences I really do on those. Um, that's just the way I've played with it. I play with it a lot. I change it up. I change these numbers up probably every two days just to play around with it. Um, but you can also do that. You can go to your timer schedules. I have this run every hour on the hour. You can see they will only let you run 10, ti 10 timers a day, okay? So basically, I just have it set where I run the global one that I normally use against FBA. I run it every hour on the hour, um, but uh, reprise settings, and then like I said, you can go over here, hit dome, 
you want to run it if you just want to run one just hit this reprise it now and now it's done reprising it's since it's uh since everything to amazon okay everything is checked so it's going to price my everything if there i have another fba it's four cents lower everything same condition or better uh yeah that's about it really guys this this reprise it is not hard <clears throat> i may not do it like a lot of people maybe a lot of you guys may be more um more complex than me. I just kind of make it easy because I want to outsource all this to somebody else. So uh, I just make it easy to where it works for me. Okay. Like I said, my global one again, click this because I do have a lot of used items. So used and new. Yeah, I have a lot of new books. So I click both of those. Check, check 95, uh, 525 on my global. Allowable apply 611, normal, normal runnings. Um, uh, if you want to price now, you want to click that for that. I don't normally ever use this one, and I don't do this one because this one will, you'll be the lowest offer. You'll be like the lowest competing possible offer. It'll it it will uh, it will make you the lowest offer. Period. So uh, you can do that if you want to move some product, but if you're gonna you're gonna be moving it at fire sale prices pretty much. Uh, but it still will it'll still you know it'll still be here at five twenty five. But I usually use this one here because it's a little bit better same condition or better so say I have a CD that's uh, I'm listing a very good condition and there's nothing else compared to very good it's gonna go it's gonna move my price to the either like new or new comp and compete against that offer on my pricing now if I just do this here and you you do your pricing there at, at uh, like say seven dollars for a CD and there's nobody else to compete against and there's no other pricing it's just gonna leave it at seven dollars it's not gonna be able to move it that's why you want to use this one here, okay? Um, Amazon. Now, a lot of times on this here, you can do this to where, say, you want to, um, you can undercut the undercut somebody by a certain percentage, or say you want to. Uh, sometimes I'll run this on on this one here. If I go to my other one here, hold on a second. Let me go over here and I'll show you real quick. If I go over to uh, here, here, okay. If I go over to this one. And I want to say I want to do just if uh, just merchant, which is this one here. I'll come in and say I want to price all my products 25% higher than merchant, okay? And then you have, have to clear this one out, okay? So basically, you have to come over here. This has to be you know zero zero zero, zero you know just basically empty, okay? You should be able to save settings. Yeah, see, sometimes it won't let you do it. You got to make sure put the zeros in there. That's just the way it reprice it does it. 0.00, .00. okay, now I'll do settings. If you see that red arrow, that's it, now it's fine. So basically on this one here, if I wanted to compete against merchant and I'm an FBA and there's no other FBA, compare against non-FBAs only if no other FBAs. It's, I run this one too a lot uh, to compete against merchant. I like to have my my uh, orders 25% higher. I know Nathan Homequest goes up to 50%. I find that sometimes that's a little too high, but I mean... Uh, you can go either way. You can play with it either way. And like I said, if you want to test your numbers, just click this off and run it and then look at your report and you'll be able to tell how high your number is going to fluctuate, okay? But make sure you always have that checked so it'll go to Amazon, okay? I'll, I'll run this one here after the other one's done. I'm going to price that one, but there you go. Save settings. Simple, guys. Reprice it 101. Um, very simple, guys. Hope you guys like it. Uh, my little cool background for my iMac, little mountains and everything. I don't know, somewhere I want to go pretty soon, Colorado or Denver, Wyoming, somewhere just to get away from Texas. So.